It's One Piece time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna have a look at the P.O.P. EX Boa Hancock version blue. This is from Mega House and uh, when I recently did the, uh, the video about my collection, I mentioned how my Mega House One Piece shelf was a little bit lacking. So, we're expanding guys. And uh, I, I don't know who else I want to get, but first, one of the one of the first characters on my list was Boa Hancock. And uh, yes, this is a blue version. It's kind of weird. I would have preferred the red one, but uh, this one was a lot cheaper. So I was like, you know, I'm still the same figure, has the same face and everything. So we're gonna get blue, and let's have a look now. Oh my god, so pretty. By the way, I did take the cape off. Don't freak out, I will display it with the cape at the end, but uh, to get a better overlook of the figure, I wanted to get the cape out of the way. So first, let's have a look at the size. She stands at uh, pretty much 24 centimeters as I run into my ring light, 24 centimeters to the top of her head. That means she's about nine, nine two, nine three inches tall. So pretty much in scale with all the other Mega House One Piece characters and uh, I didn't actually mean to zoom in on that but that's a good part. I wanted to zoom in on the face. Very, very cute, nice Animu face. She has the winky face on right now. There's more to come. I will have a look at the accessories later. But uh, look at the eye. Look at all the, the different shades of blue that's going on in her eye. She has a small line. Uh, as her mouth and around her mouth for the lipstick and the snake earrings are very nicely painted have a nice metallic gold paint job hair is very nicely molded it's very flowing and vibrant well not really vibrant it's dark and just black but uh, there's some sparkly the, the, the entire figure is very much metallic it's not as noticeable in the hair but I think there's some in it as well but uh, as you can tell by the blue and everything going on, yes. Character is vibrant, very flashy, and uh, I love that. I like that stuff, really. You could say, well, it's cloth, shouldn't be shiny, but I don't care. It's a figure, so it can be whatever it wants. So, Boobitch, yes, it's big, it's exaggerated, but that's how One Piece works. And then we got the line going down over here. We just painted in a white, and they did some blue over it. The thing with that though, the blue in some parts is a lot thicker than it is in other parts, so it's kind of weird and it's kind of dirty at this side, so it's not the cleanest job and it also kind of goes over the line a little bit on the side, but the silver line that goes around it is very nicely done. You got the little golden emblem around her torso and we got see-through plastic for the tips of her dress, which uh... It is nice for the most part, but the paint, it has some slips here and there. But uh, I mean, overall, I'm happy with it. Nothing too bad that goes on with it. And now we go down to her legs, the long legs. She got the um, uh, light blue shoes, which are very shiny. But the real highlight to me is her dress. The lower part of her dress is just fantastic. Look at all the stuff that's going on there. Okay, first of all, we have a butt. Very nicely molded, but uh, I love the snake flowers that kind of dance around. You got gold in there, like really different shades of gold, a little bit of green going on. And uh, with the metallic paint job, it really makes it pop. And as you can tell, the light is just radiating off as I turn her around. And I really dig that. And also, it's Ponsu time! Well, no, yeah. I'm sorry guys, I don't want to bait you, but you can kind of see the Ponsu, but you can't kind of see the Ponsu. From what I can tell is there's a... they did some extra Ponsu, but... I I would say you probably could take this off. Because this is movable, but uh, I don't see a part where I can take the torso or the legs off. And I don't want to break her, so... Uh, you know, if you want to go deeper for the Ponsu, the great search for Hoppoa Hancock's Ponsu, you probably could do that, but I'm not gonna because I don't want to break anything off. So just be advised and be careful and don't break your boa. So for the accessories, you got two more faces. You got kind of like a more stern, more serious look and then a little bit of a smile. But uh, 
Still some doubt in her eyes, but overall, once again, very nicely done, very nicely painted. And she got the one arm, which you can put on her right side, so she kind of just, uh, you know, has this pose, whatever you want to call this pose. And then there's the cape which uh, I will put on for the final look, but uh, I'll give you one overlook of the cape. Kind of have like the golden tassels on the side and uh, a white paint job with a lot of blue shading over it. Once again, giving it a very nice and vibrant look. Also metallic, so that's great. And uh, yeah, by the way, I'm gonna give you another look at the base actually because I kind of forgot to do that. Uh, she's on there very tightly, by the way. Getting her on the base is a little bit of a challenge already. As it is, but yeah, you got the world government Boa Hancock with the symbol on it, and then Seven Worlds, the sea. Seven Worlds, the sea, huh? Wouldn't it be Seven Worlds of the sea? Whatever, it's Japanese. So, one final look over the complete package with the cape on, and I did change the face. I kind of like the stern look. I mean, she's she's used to be very emotionless, except of course when Luffy's around, but anyway. Final thoughts of this figure, I mean, I cannot really say anything bad about it, it's... I love Mega House, and looking at this figure and looking at my collection, I kinda wonder why I ever stopped collecting them, because there's so much good stuff going on. The only thing I can kinda give them flag is for the not the greatest paint job uh, of the white, white line going around over here, but that's it, that's not... Not really anything that would be a deal breaker, not really anything that would be an issue. So overall, yes, I do recommend this figure, I do love this figure, and uh, honestly, like I'm saying, I think I'm, I'm gonna track down some more Mega House One Piece figures again to kind of enlarge my collection, because I'm really enjoying this, the look and everything that went into this figure. Very shiny, very nice, and uh, yeah captures the look of the character perfectly so that's gonna do it guys as usual thank you very much for watching don't forget if you enjoyed this review hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure videos gameplay stuff and whatever boy hancock wants